Number 17, this is 1961 the Roosevelt Time in MS67 Plus condition with full bands. Elusive 10 cent piece with attractive amber gold hues on obverse. According to NGC, despite massive hoarding of all USA coins dated from mid 1950s through 1964, top notch gems of this issue are a bit elusive. Denver mint dimes of this period tend to be better struck than their Philadelphia cousins, resulting in a greater proportion of full bands or full torch pieces. But they are also more likely to be marred by numerous small bag marks. This coin was sold for $1050. Number 16, 1959, the Rosewood Dominum 68 condition with full bands. Boldly struck, flawless surfaces display George's pastel rainbow hues on the reverse. Tied for the finest, this elusive dime was sold for $5,000. Number 15 here is 1953 Franklin half dollar in MS66 plus condition with full bell lines. A tough date with full bell lines, this colorful superb gem is sharply detailed with beautiful luster that shines through rich patina. When collectors and numismatists use the term full bell lines, they are referring to the Franklin half dollars where these horizontal lines on the Liberty Bell are particularly well defined and complete. In other words, the lines are fully visible and unbroken across the bottom part of the Liberty Bell's image. These FBL specimen was sold for $6,000. Number 14 here is highly sought after Sacagawea dollar. 2,000 Cheerios dollar in MS67 condition. Famous Cheerios dollar that was struck from a special reverse die hub with enhanced tail feather motifs. The coins were only dispensed in Cheerios boxes for a special promotion. Once discovered, the promo ended and the few known are very rare. On the slab of this elusive gem was his signature of Thomas D. Rogers, retired sculpture engraver of US Mint. It was sold for $6,250. Number 13, moving on with his 1941 D. Jefferson Nickel in Mint State 68 with full steps. Fully struck, flawless surfaces shine with luster and are overlaid in beautiful blended lavender, gold and rose toning. It ended up selling for $6,500. Number 12, here is 1941 Washington Quarter in PR68 plus condition, CAC proven super proof gem, an amazing rarity from a proof mintage of 15,287. Impeccably preserved mirrors shine with dominant silvery color as well as subtle gold, green and pale pink iridescence, lending to its originality, fully defined as expected with astonishing eye appeal, an exciting piece for the collector. It was sold for $8,800. Number 11. This is 1940 Lincoln Center MS68 red condition. A stunning ultra gem tied for the finest known example with just seven other PCGS examples. Essentially flawless surfaces are set in and showcase sharp full details. George's golden orange coloration and soft peach and pink highlights make for incredible eye appeal. A fantastic piece for advanced collector of this series. Number 10 here is 1934 Washington Quarter with medium model. A graded in mean state 68 by PCGS wonderfully preserved ultra gem with a coveted CC seal of approval. Smooth, flawless surfaces display frosty luster. The obverse is generally untoned while the reverse is avash in attractive lavender, pale blue and peach tints. This is the most common of three primary 1934 obverse designs. It was sold for $9,750. This is 1917s Walking Liberty of Dollar in Mint State 65. Light gold toning highlights lovely luster and stunning details. The 1917s of Burst Mint Mark variety is the scarcest of all 1917 combinations. To find one in gem uncirculated condition is nearly impossible. This one was sold for $15,250.
Number 8, 1951 S. Washington Quarter in MS-68 condition. Satiny luster is interrupted by rich rainbow tones spanning the obverse and framing mottled central devices on the reverse. The strike is boldly executed throughout and the eye appeal is fantastic. CEC approved for the quality. It ended up selling for $9,381. Number 7 here is 1920s Lincoln Sent in MS65 red condition. With one, a single example graded finer, it's clear that this date simply was not preserved in bulk as many other dates in the series. A very difficult example to find with red surfaces is opportunity for a near finest example at a price far less than what they have historically brought is an unusual one. It was sold for $11,000. Number 6, here is 1951 as Jefferson Nickel in MS67 condition with full steps. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, the 1951 as Jefferson Nickel has one of lower mintage for circulation strike series. The 1951 as appears to be scarce in MS66 grade and higher. Less than 500 examples have been confirmed by PCGS in MS66 condition, with less than a handful known in MS67. This one with full steps ended up selling for $10,600. Number 5, a wartime error penny 1944 D. Lincoln sent with D over S repunched mint mark, graded in mint state 66 plus red by PCGS. Scars and desirable Lincoln sent variety, this is a strong over mint mark. The secondary S is evident clearly protruding from the top of the D. CEC approved for quality. It was bargained for $13,500. Number 4. A magnificent was inside exquisite holder. 1959 Franklin half dollar in PR67 ultra cameo condition. Proof coins are specially minted coins that are struck using polished dies and planchets. To create a coin with high level of detail and mirror-like finish. In a context of proof coins, cameo refers to the contrast between the frosted design elements on the coin and the mirror-like polish background. The design elements appear frosty and white against the reflective background, creating striking visual effect. Ultra cameo takes this concept a step further. Coins that are designated as ultra cameo have an exceptionally strong and distinct contrast between the frosted design elements and the reflective fields. Brilliant devices of the gem stand out against glassy white mirrors dusted in light cameo frost. The eye appeal is absolutely stunning. Only a handful of examples have been graded finer between both services. It was sold for $14,950. Number 3. This is 1952D Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. Beautiful rainbow tones throughout. This piece is one of the prettiest toned Franklins showcased at David Lawrence. CEC approved for quality this true gem ended up selling for $17,000. Number 2 here is 1916D Mercury Diamond MS63 condition with full bands. The key to the Mercury Diamond business strike set and one of the most popular of all US 20th century coins. A stunning select example, brightly luster surfaces featured dappled russet, blue green, and golden tones. Well detailed with great eye appeal for the great, it was sold for $22,000. Number 1, and this is 1932D Washington Quarter in MS6 the 6 condition, magnificent example of this popular key date. Satiny surfaces display lovely original luster and crisply struck gem details. Coin features excellent eye appeal. Tied with just one another example at PCGS for the finest known. It was sold for $64,500. Thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more exciting content on the fascinating world of numismatics. See you in the next episode.